Hello everyone, today we have to repair a Titan X. Uh, yeah, that's a very decent car. Uh, the only thing what I don't like, don't like them is their cooling system, um, so-called turbine cooling system. It's not that perfect and um, yeah, they, they go real, as for me, they go loud and the car itself gets really hot. They go up to 85, 87 degrees. But let's be closer to our business and um, yeah, this video is going to be about repair or try and repair um, Titan X. What, um, yeah, this card sent me one of my uh, subscriber and what he says is uh, fan is spinning but there is no image out. And now let's plug as well HDMI. And as always do, let's confirm a problem and see if we can do anything about it. So it stacks on 2E, there is no image, and yeah, the uh, fan is spinning. So, uh, so first we start from a resistance mode, and uh, yeah, so let's start from a chip first. On a chip we have 6 ohms which is in the range of normal, on a memory, it's actually dual phase memory, uh, we have 36 ohms which is in the range of normal, here is a 12 volt, we don't have a short, here is a 12 volt, we don't have a short which is normal, oh this phase is um, 5 volt, we should have a kilo ohms, and uh, Okay, yeah, we have two kilos, it's normal, but this phase is a uh, 5 volt and uh, basically a power to uh, uh, a driver on our DR MOSFET. So, in actually most cases, when one of those keys uh, uh, burns out, uh, this phase burns out as well and it takes a driver as well. Here is a driver for uh, making those 5 volts over here. So, Resistance is good, and uh, yeah, let's keep going uh, on the PCI. We should have more than 300. Uh, 600 is normal, and uh, yeah, so long so far, everything looks good. So, yeah, let's go and measure power then. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, let's go on a chip. Uh, we have volts on the memory, we have volt and a half, here's 12 volts we have, here 12 volts we have, here 12 volts we have, uh, 5 volts we have, 3 volts we have, and a PCI Express, we have a volt. Mm -hmm. So, so long so far, everything actually looks good, but there is no image out. Um, um, okay, so I don't uh, know the story of this graphic card, so what I would rather do, first of all, is uh, rewrite the BIOS. And let's see if... Uh, and then we will think what we're gonna do, because it looks like... I, I see marketing on this chip. Is uh, from a th um, 2013 year uh, and it's pretty old, yeah, it's been already five years. So, most likely, what I'm assuming is the chip is out, but yeah, let's write first a bias. And I already downloaded a new BIOS and uh, saved the uh, old BIOS and yeah, what I just did now I just clear it once again so we can put a new BIOS in it. 
it's right here open um, yeah binary okay that's our new bias and um, let's just program it Okay, so the 2A, 38, and we have a picture. 3A, we have a picture. And Crystal really getting hot. Nice. Very lovely, very lovely. What can I say? So, so yeah, I've been testing this car already for a while, and uh, I gotta say, I, li I like this car. Um, so long so far no issues were found and this car is a, it's pretty quick, I like it. Um, and um, yeah, uh, all driver was installed with no issues. Um, and as well I overclock it a little bit and then still holds up perfectly fine. Let's talk a bit about our cafe card. It's, I would think in sense this video was short. Let's talk a bit about bias itself. Whoever has more questions or has some, more something to say or wants to correct me, please write down in the comments below. So since graphic card has his own processor and a memory and a power circuit, it needs his own bias for managing. Uh, as a system bias, video bias, sends functions and instructions uh, how to necessary to access our graphic card. It's like negotiated between a driver and a graphic card itself and the hardware of a graphic card. Now, actually visualize our graphic card and computer over here. So, once we launch our computer, system bias connects to a video bias by bus, which is PCI, PCI Express, AGP, ACA, and sends operation to launch our video bias. After, and uh, then a video bias in July is already a work of uh, all graphic card and in necessary con uh, interacts it back uh, to our system bias. And uh, after already load a Windows, the video driver enters the role of an um, intermediary which has a huge functionality and works on a principle we have our application, we connect our driver, we go to our BIOS and then we access our hardware or it works straight application, driver, hardware. Um, about repairs, uh, yes, it's not that often but still happens and uh, last one when I remember I had a card with the problem with the fan, fan, fan wasn't working fine. We were thinking that the problem with the fan itself but after writing the BIOS, fan started working perfectly fine. Um, another story what I have is uh, I have a guy who bought his card and after a week he burned it. By how? Uh, he was overclocking. And then he brought it back straight and they refused him to change it. After two minutes. After two, three minutes they just refused him to uh, exchange it. He got surprised. He was like, how, 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 how? Um, so, so I actually seen it. And that's what kind of I programmer have and that works perfectly fine for me but there is a better one with the better software I mean this one I got it for twenty dollars used if I was buying something for myself um, like just uh, I mean this one 80 and overpaying sixty dollars for this future it doesn't make sense for me but uh, I actually seen it in one retail store who sells uh, graphic cards and all other parts, this uh, programmer. So it has a clip over here, you don't even have to unsolder a BIOS, you just, they just connect it, clip it, and on a computer they have a perfect software where they can see all characteristics of a graphic card. And obviously they saw, uh, they saw that this card been overclocked and yeah, once it doesn't have a... Uh, Factory settings, they obviously will refuse you to exchange a graphic card. So retail stores, they not all of them are stupid. So yeah, that's in two words. Uh, please subscribe, put, throw some likes and thank you for watching.